Meet Jared Diamond. Jared Diamond here. Let's blow it up. This is Jared Diamond. He is a polymath. He's a physiologist, an ecologist. He's a geographer. He's an anthropologist. And he's a New Guinea birder. And he's an expert on the biophysics of gallbladder membranes. <laughs> he also teaches at UCLA. He's written quite a few books. Here are some of them. The Third Chimpanzee, an excellent book about why we should be called the Third Chimpanzee. Guns, Germs, and Steel about the fates of human societies, why sex is fun, obviously what that's about, collapse of societies, and then the world until yesterday, what we can learn from traditional societies. We're going to talk about this particular book, Guns, Germs, and Steel, because it tries to answer the question, how come some societies become technological and others don't? Now, a long time ago, when he was a birder in New Guinea, he had a friend called Yali. And they would camp together and tell stories. And one day, Yali looked perplexed and said to, to Jared, why is it that you white people developed so much cargo and brought it to New Guinea, but we black people had little cargo of our own? And this book, Guns, Germs, and Steel, is uh, about three or 400 pages trying to answer that question. So, for example, here's an illustration that's on the front cover. This is of Pizarro on the left uh, grabbing the Atahualpa, the head Inca, in Cajamarca, Peru, 16th of November, 1532. And uh, this is, uh, the book is a long treatise on the extermination by disease of native peoples, the dispossession, enslavement, warfare, casual murder, ethnic cleansing, and genocide, all these things that have happened again and again throughout the world. Some, sometimes known as European imperialism, but other societies are guilty of imperialism as well. Jared's thesis basically is because Eurasia is so big and filled with so many things, and you can go back and forth laterally in the same, essentially the same climate, that that leads to all kinds of exchanges between people, while the vertical uh, nature of North and South America, for example, was, uh, leads to differences in climate and therefore not as much communication, for example, between the Aztecs and the Incas.